each and every Egyptian need to contribute to transforming the spirit of Tahir Square and the sacrifices of so many into a new Egypt. And that's why this event is so profoundly significant. This festival is about the arts serving as a medium to build bridges of friendship and sharing between Christians and Muslims, and with it, respect for diversity, for peaceful dialogue, and trust among individuals and communities. The Caravan Initiative comes out of a vision that the arts can actually be one of the most effective mediums to bring Christians and Muslims and those from the East and West together to encourage friendship, uh, enhance understanding and respect between the two. So in many ways, it's an intercultural and interfaith uh, arts initiative. The heart of this interfaith and intercultural uh, arts movement is the Caravan Festival of the Arts, which was founded five years ago. And it seeks to use visual arts, literature, film, and music to build bridges between these two groups, uh, the East and the West, and their creeds and cultures. The uh, primary emphasis, though, of the Caravan Festival of the Arts would be the visual art exhibition. Each year, this strategic and uh, inter-religious arts initiative, the Caravan Festival of the Arts, has generated significant attention from the international media and art world. The annual week-long festival attracts thousands of visitors from around Egypt and the world. One of its unique aspects is that, to date at least, the festival has taken place at the historic St. John's Church in southern Cairo, in Mahdi, which has actually been a center of Christian, Muslim, and East-West relations for over 80 years. In my work, my artwork, uh, every time I speak, about uh, the peace, uh, about uh, we are uh, everybody uh, who can live together without any problem. And uh, the caravan uh, project every year uh, about this uh, idea. The artists are both Muslim and Christian, West and East, so it covers a lot of different backgrounds, but. Um, one of the main things is that it stimulates people through art to converse about um, belief, symbolism, what's important to them. So I think Caravan brings to the fore the, um, it's the opportunity for them to gain an insight into other people's thinking. Well, Caravan was that real alternative for us to join in into a, a kind of a, um, artistic communi community, spiritual uh, intercultural uh, um, uh, pool where I found uh, and the longer it, uh, it went on the more we felt like we are in a community. The art itself is it's a common language between all, all, of, uh, all of us and it's easy to, uh, uh, to, 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 to translate what you, 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 you want to mean and what you want to, to say and what you want to even to reveal uh, in a visual language to everybody. So the, the art itself, it's a, it's, it's a language for everybody. It's, it's about all, always about the message that you, you just uh, yeah, uh, 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 embedded in the work itself. As Egypt seeks to find its way into the future, this fifth annual Caravan Festival of the Arts has the theme, In Peace and With Compassion. This year, over 40 premier Egyptian and Western artists have been invited to participate in what will really be a very unique public art initiative here in Cairo. Each of the artists are given two fiberglass donkeys that have been sculpted specifically for this exhibition. They're given a life-size donkey and one that's about one-fourth the size. And they're actually commissioned to go and paint them however they wish. Other countries have done this in cities around the world. Some have chosen cows and elephants. We've chosen the donkey because the donkey has great symbolism in both the Christian and Islamic traditions. In Christianity, it symbolizes peace. You remember, perhaps you know the story of Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey. Or, in the Islamic tradition, Salah Hadin, the great Islamic military leader, when he comes into Jerusalem, he's riding a donkey, not a stallion, which of course would signify coming in war. He's saying, I'm coming in peace. 
The other thing the donkey symbolizes, very much so here in Egypt, is that of compassion, because the poorest of the poor use donkeys as a beast of burden for their livelihood. So what we're saying as artists together, artists from the East and from the West, Christian and Muslim, we're saying that the way forward for Egypt and in its relationship with the rest of the world is in peace and with compassion. When we, uh, we, we was young, uh, we, we have about uh, 20 million, uh, uh, donkey, you know? That's, uh, that's the big number. And I, I like uh, this animal. You know? I love donkeys. I think they're so sweet and so lovely and downtrodden, and, uh, but I think they're feisty too. For me, it's just a cuddly animal um, that has kind of peaceful connotations, but mainly downtrodden. It's a beast of burden that has a really, really hard life most of the time and doesn't get to have enough fun, in my opinion. Yeah. At the Quran, uh, the God tell us about the, the person who ha he, he have a lot of books, a lot of uh, knowledge, and he know, but doesn't do what, about what he know. He have example for that, like the donkey, if he have a lot of over his body, a lot of his parts, a lot of books take it from the place to other place, but the donkey of course doesn't know what is in a box. So the God tell us in the Quran about this example. So the people select this, this, I mean, this world exactly to, to tell adjective about anybody's to me is you are a donkey because maybe you have a mind, you have some knowledge, but you never do about what you know. So I guess from this reason, we will think that that's the but I agree. I remember a particular scene, um, a donkey in uh, Minya. Uh, it was close to the Virgin Mary's Gabalitir monastery and Apparently it belonged to somebody that was working for the monastery, but their farm was down there. You know, a monastery is up on a hill. And so uh, the donkey was going very diligently down the steps, you know, uh, going back to the farm. And uh, he knew exactly where he was going. And he didn't need somebody to guide him. So contrary to all Egyptian belief that the donkey is a stupid animal, some people insult one another and say, you're a donkey. I think the donkey is quite intelligent and hard-working and also peaceful. On the opening night, over 80 of these painted donkeys will actually be on display. The smaller ones that are about one-fourth the size of the size of a real donkey will be for sale that evening with 80% of the profit going to the artist and 20% going to charities here in Egypt. The life-size donkeys, which of course will also be on display, the next day will actually travel on a caravan, if you will, and they will be placed in very unique places throughout Cairo for exhibition for three weeks. Hotel lobbies, all the major art galleries, cultural centers, some uh, key schools, American University of Cairo, various universities, and the idea there is that as people see them, they're reminded of this deeper mission of the way forward is in peace and with compassion. These larger donkeys will be on display for about three weeks and then 20 of them will be selected to travel first to Europe for exhibition and then to the United States. Artist and co-curator Reda Abdurrahman sculpted the donkey for this year's Caravan Festival of the Arts. Reda's studio is located on the island of Dahab in the middle of the Nile, accessible only by boat. And the island itself of Dahab exemplifies, it models Christian-Muslim relations with the mosque and the church side by side. First impression to me, uh, I feel something between me and Dung. And between, between all the Egyptian people and Dung. The same word, the same uh, Image for donkey happened from 7,000 years until now. Uh, the horse change, the line change, motor, zoo, zoo, every uh, animal lived in Egypt change. Also, I think uh, the Egyptian people the same. No change. Uh, uh, 
very poor, very uh, difficult life. I feel that. This year's festival focuses on ending sectarian strife and encouraging the establishment of a society here in Egypt that inherently respects and honors religious diversity, living and working together in harmony. The late Nobel Prize Egyptian novelist Nagi Mahfouz wrote, Art is the language of the entire human personality. Thank you.